So in this video, I'm super proud to be introducing you to our new brand ambassador, that's Holly Flint, or All About Holly. Now we asked Holly to put a little video together just to kind of explain a little bit about who she is and what she does, the kind of bikes she rides, so on and so forth, and a little bit how we fit in as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand you over to Holly and I uh, hope you enjoy this one. Hi, I'm Holly, I'm the new ambassador for Knox and they've sent me some questions to answer so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I live in West Sussex, I've got an eight year old son called Jack, I live with my partner Albie and we've got a crazy little dog called Artie who's eight months old. So I first got into motorcycles when I met my partner Albie about three years ago. He had a Harley Sportster um, and we went on a few trips and a few outings and I went on the back um, and it wasn't long before I thought, actually, do you know what? I want to ride one myself. So Albie actually surprised me on one of my birthdays with a CBT. Um, the day before he told me that it was the next day and I went along and I was actually sent home after about two or three hours. I was the only one that wanted to do the CBT on a manual bike. Um, everyone else was doing it on scooters and they were basically saying to me, you know, just do it on a scooter, get, get through it and then you can go on from there. Uh, but I just wanted to start the way I meant to go on and I knew I was never gonna ride a scooter. So I stuck with my guns and I did it on a, um, a geared bike and they just said about midday, I was holding everyone up and they sent me home. So I booked another one in my local area at Dunsfold uh, a couple of months later and I passed that and then I had a Yamaha 125 for about six months and then in the September I went on and did my direct access and got my full licence. My first bike was a Yamaha YBR, it was a 125, it was in red. I called it Whisper because it was so quiet, um, but I loved it, I loved that bike. So my current bike is a Harley uh, Sportster, it's an 883. As my name's Holly, uh, I've called it Ivy, which was a suggestion from some of my followers on my page. I've done loads of bits and bobs to her. She's really customised and I especially love the tank, which has got flames and scales and I've got a big crown, gold crown gas cap as well. There's so many bikes that I love. I really like cafe racers, I really like some of the old retro kind of bikes, Norton. If I was to say my dream bike, it would probably be sticking with a Harley and it would probably be an upgrade from what I've got now, one of the bigger models, uh, maybe one of the new soft tails. For me, the best part about biking is I love the community that uh, centred around biking. I've met so many great people through riding. I've just made so many friends and they are kind of mainly guys, so it's just like I'm just surrounded by all these big brothers now that I never had. Motorcycling in general fits in well with my daily life. Uh, where we live in Sussex is surrounded by really nice country winding roads. It's a lovely area to, to ride in and there's a lot of kind of biker cafes and things quite local to us that we can ride and meet people. Uh, we ride to London quite a lot to visit family and friends up there. Um, it's not the best place to ride London but being on a bike makes it a lot easier. We don't end up sitting in traffic for hours on end. And when we get up there, we've got loads of friends that are on bikes, so we tend to do little tours all around um, and out and about in the evenings on the bike, so I really enjoy that. I've done some great trips on the bike, mainly days out and shows. Um, I would love to do something overseas. I've never ridden uh, a bike uh, abroad. So I'm thinking this year, I would definitely love to do something further afield. I think probably France or Spain would probably be a good starter and then I can maybe build my way up from there. I wouldn't say that spiking being a, a predominantly male scene has affected me in a particularly negative way. I've had the odd comments online, it's always online, 
The word hipster has been thrown about quite a few times. I still don't really know what that means. Yeah, you get the, the comments, you know, about being a real biker um, and things like that. But in the main, I found it quite a positive experience, even though it's predominantly male. Definitely finding um, suitable clothing to wear is, is a nightmare and has been a nightmare. But other than that, like I said, I've made some really good friends and I do definitely think that biking is on the up for women. I first started my blog up, a couple of my friends actually had suggested it to me, you know, you should sort of do something along the lines of, of your biking and what you get up to, it's quite a niche. So I, I just after a while thought, okay, let's give it a go. I didn't fancy setting up like a complete whole website because I thought it's it's hard to, to drive people to, to view things like that, but Facebook's so accessible, Instagram's so accessible, so I just started the blog up uh, through my social media and just seeing w where it goes from there. But it's a really fun page, It's uh, we have a lot of discussions and some debates and and um, yeah, I really, I really enjoy it. So the blog started mainly as a kind of a maintenance video. So I was learning a lot about how the bike works and how to fix things on the bike myself, um, just because from experience, garages and things have been so expensive when you have work done there. So uh, yeah, it was a lot about me learning things on the bike and showing people as, as I go along kind of things that I'm, that I'm doing. It might not be perfect or technically always very correct, but I do always get there in the end, always achieve what I set out to do. And it's just a bit of, you know, just inspiring people just to have a little go themselves um, things things are quite easy generally and yeah if I can do it anyone can do it we have discussions on there debates I quite enjoy challenging certain mindsets and and just making people think about things maybe slightly differently and I like to put some some information and some informative stuff uh, across on the, the page as well I recently attended a biker down course so I put a video on the helmet removal of a, of a fallen biker and that was a particularly popular one. It's not something that everybody would know what to do in that situation. I, I just want to continue it as a, as a fun and informative page and getting everybody involved as well. So I'd seen some of the Knox gear online um, and I'd heard about them through the grapevine from other bikers and my experience of finding uh, clothing whilst on the bike was, well it's pretty dark to be honest with you, there, there, there isn't a lot around that, that's the kind of stuff that you would normally wear. So yeah, I had, I had a lot of trouble with things fitting me, especially length of, of legs uh, for the trousers. I got in touch with the, with the guys, I sent them an email and I was invited to go along to their office, which is in London. And we ended up spending an afternoon there uh, trying things on. They were, they were telling me about how things were created and how it all started. And we went from there. So, so far the bits I've got from Knox are the scarlet jeans, uh, I've got the armoured shirt, uh, the coal killers mid layer and I've got the Olivia jacket in black. Uh, my experience so far with it's been great, it's really nice to have gear that, that fits you really well and looks half decent on and does, does what, it, what it's set out to do which is protect you while you're riding. So I'm really looking forward to trying some of the spring summer stuff. Uh, the Knox bits I've had so far have been through the winter, I've been riding through the winter which is never the, the best time to ride. So I'm really looking forward to getting into some of the summer stuff. I'm looking forward the most to, they've got some single layer jeans which should be really good because that's great if you're out and about, um, you know, you can go to a meet and then you're not kind of trussed up in some heavy um, jeans. They've got, I believe, some kind of casual, like a hoodie and things like that, so that for me is perfect. I mean, my favourite kind of clothing when I'm not riding is like loungewear, so I would love to have some kind of gear that's not so kind of heavy and restricting. Some softer sort of materials or something that's quite wearable when you're off the bike, because, you know, I know we spend a lot of time on our, on our bikes, but Bikers like to stop, cups of teas, cake, food, and you know, you're spending time in between riding off your bike, so it would be great to have something that's kind of more wearable when you're not riding. So hopefully that's given you a little bit more information about Holly and what she's about and the kind of um, bikes that she rides, all that kind of stuff. Now, you're gonna see more and more about um, 
Holly uh, featuring on our um, social media, on our YouTube, all that kind of stuff. So really proud to have her on board, really excited for the future. Um, if you come and visit Knox at uh, various shows and events, hopefully you might see her at a few as well. So that's great. So thanks again for watching and uh, we will see you next time. Of course, all um, Holly's uh, links are put in the description so you can check her out there. And uh, thanks again for your continued support.